all. Welcome to my class, Suchi Savarkar's class. First of all, thank you all for your responses and comments. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget, forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. So, last class, I have explained about the parts of the abacus, how to hold the abacus and how to count the bits. So, in today's class, again I will explain how to count the bits. Before moving to today's class, I want to tell you one thing that if at any point you are facing any problem to understand this abacus, you can comment me on the comment box. Next class, definitely I will clarify your doubts. Okay, now let's have a quick revision please. Last class I have told you about the parts of the abacus that are frame, outer side is called frame and the most important line is this horizontal bar. Next up to the horizontal bar, the upper bits are there and down to the horizontal bar, lower bits are there. On the horizontal bar, some dots are there. Okay, next to that, some small small lines are there that are called as rods. In the previous class also, I told you about active bits and slipping bits. Two types of bits I told you. Active bits and slipping bits. Active bits are the bits, those who are touching to this abacus. Suppose, abacus horizontal bar. Suppose this horizontal bar, one bit is touching to this horizontal bar. So, this bit is called as active bit. And these bits are outside the horizontal bar. So, these bits are called as slipping bits. Again, I am telling the bits which are in contact with this horizontal bar that are called as active bits. That bits value we have to count for further addition and subtraction. So, in this, first I will tell you in this rod what are the values. I am taking this rod in your small abacus. You have one middle five point is there. In that point, you have to start. So, this is my ones place only. This middle rod is my ones place. Again, I am telling this middle rod is my ones place. In that place, I am showing here this ones place only here. Only ones place I am showing here only one single rod. In that rod, I am going to tell you the bits values. In that single rod only, I am going to tell you the bits values. In this single rod, horizontal bar, if one bar, one bit is touching to the bar, that is it will be like this only. Here, we have to just count this one bit only. So, the value will be 1. See, here one bit is there, this value is only 1. Because all the lower bits value is 1, 1, 1, 1 only. Each lower bit value is 1. Each lower bit value is 1. And next, one upper bit also there. We have 4 lower bits. One upper bit. That upper bit value is 5. That upper bit value is 5. So, if one bit is touching to the horizontal bar, that value is 1. Now, in this rod, I have 2 bits here. So, in this abacus, 1 Two bits are in contact with this horizontal bar. All other bits are in slipping mode only. So, we have to count these two bits only. This is 1, 2. So, this value is 2. Next, if three bits are touching to the horizontal bar, with the horizontal bar, three bits are in contact. One lower bit and one upper bit. They are outside from the horizontal bar. See here, one lower bit, one upper bit. They are outside the horizontal bar. They are not in contact with horizontal bar. So, we can count it as 1, 2, 3. So, we can write it as 3. Next, here, 4 bits are in contact. 1, 2, 3, 4. Upper bit is Outside. Upper bit is outside. 
This is not in contact with this horizontal bar. So we should not count this upper bit. We should count only these bits. So these bits values are 1, 2, 3, 4. Value is 4. Now next, these 4 bits are outside only. These 4 bits are outside. Only one upper bit comes down. Only one upper bit comes down. So that means this is 5 only. This is the most important bit in our abacus. We have to keep in mind always that this upper one, single upper one bit value is 5. Always this single upper one value is 5. So we wrote it here as 5. Next, one upper bit and one lower bit. One upper bit. And one lower bit. I have already told that each lower bit value is 1. And each upper bit value is 5. In our hands, in abacus we tell it as 1 index, 2 index and middle finger, 3 index, middle finger and ring finger, 4 index, middle finger, ring finger and little finger. Only thumb is 5. Only thumb is 5. So, with thumb, one more bit, it becomes 6. Because thumb is 5, then 6. Whenever we have upper bit, we should start counting from 5. We should start counting from 5. So, 5 and next is 6. So, value is 6 only. So, now next, here also we have. One upper bit and two lower bits. One upper bit, two lower bits. Here also I have one upper bit, two lower bits. So it is, upper bit is five, then six, seven. Five, six, seven. It becomes five, six, seven. We can write here seven. Next one. One upper bit, three lower bits. One upper bit is here. Next, three bits here. So, blindly don't count that one, two, three, four. You will get a big zero. This is not four. As upper bit is there, you should count it as five. As upper bit is there, you should count it as five. So, starting from five, what we will get? Five, six, seven, eight. 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can write it as 8. Next one is 1 upper bit and 4 lower bits. So 1 upper bit, 5 and 4 lower bits. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 and 4, 9. So we can write it as 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. The last one. Is there? I think you are thinking that teacher left that bar like that only. She forgot to put something there. But it is not like that matter. It is the thing that if any bit is not touching to the horizontal bar, horizontal bar, what is the value? I know that any bits are not there because to show this one only, I didn't put here any bits. That value is if any bits are not touching to the horizontal bar. Simply it is 0. Simply it is 0. So 1, 2 bits here, 2, 3 lower bits value 3, 4 lower bits value 4, 1 upper bit 5, 1 upper bit and 1 lower bit that is 6. 1 upper bit, 1 lower bit, 2 lower bits that is 7. 1 upper bit, 3 lower bits that is 8. 1 upper bit, 4 lower bits that is 9. And the last one is 0. And next to this, I have some blanks in downside. So, what are these values? You just try it. But again, next class I will come to explain the same thing. Same thing again. With that, these things also I will tell. You just guess what are the values. I will again tell and that time you match your answer with me. So, in up to this, if you have any doubts, 
without any hesitation you can put your comments on the comment box thank you all thank you